It's 6 30 happening right now. Set to strike. Nurses in Hibbing are getting ready to grab their signs and hit the picket lines. Plus, from the Northlands News Center Studios, this is the KDLH 3 News at 6 30. Nurses at the Fairview owned Range Regional Health Services spent the day preparing for next week's three day strike. Range reporter Jennifer Walsh talked with both sides in the contract dispute. Hibbing nurses with the Minnesota Nursing Association spent Friday organizing and creating picket signs for the three day strike set to begin Monday. Representatives from the MNA have been bargaining with hospital administration for nearly one year. They're trying to reach a contract compromise involving staffing levels. Patient safety and a proposed time off plan. We're united in this. We all want the same thing and we're willing to, you know, pay for it as we are. You know, some of us will be losing work time and it's not something we do lightly. Nurses gave administration a 10 day strike notice, providing the hospital with time to prepare for the absence of more than 150 nurses. During the strike, the hospital and clinic will stay open. Nurses will be brought in from around the country to provide patient care. We'll be operational, up and running. Uh, we have uh, s transportation services available, and we're communicating with all of our patients to let them know that if they don't want to drive across the picket line, we'll be willing to, to uh, arrange transportation for them. Nurses will hit the picket lines at 7 a.m. on Monday morning and will report back to work at their scheduled times starting Thursday. They're planning to walk in and to resume work, and I'm hoping that we can do it in a smooth manner and just be able to go back on the floors, do our job to the best of our ability, and continue caring for our patients. In Hibbing for Range 11, I'm Jennifer Walsh. Monday's picket line will be at the intersection of 37th and Mayfair Avenue in Hibbing. Both nurses and administration say patient safety will be met during the three day strike. It's a growing event in Superior. Live from the KQDS Television Studios, this is Fox 21 News at 9. We have seen it in hospitals in the Twin Cities, Duluth, and now Hibbing as nurses are preparing to strike. Fox 21's Tracy Tolentino tells us why they are walking the picket line and what the hospital is planning to do about it. Dozens of signs ready to go as more than 150 nurses from Fairview University Medical Center prepare to walk the picket line. I will do what it takes to get safe care for our patients and our community and our family. After nearly 10 months of contract negotiations, these nurses feel Monday's strike is a last resort. I think we need to do it because we're advocating for our patients. Advocating for safe patient to nurse ratios and their paid time off, the two main sticking points for the nurses. We want to be able to have that say in staffing and also that we don't want to end up losing benefits that will help retain our nurses. However, nurses have rejected the hospital's most recent and final offer. We feel again we have a very fair contract. Contract on the table with them. Our wages are above state averages. We're asking them to accept PTO. It doesn't reduce their benefit time, it merely puts more responsibility on them to manage their absences. Despite the two sides being at odds, one thing they can both agree on is that patient care is still their top priority. It's very important to provide the safe care to be there for my patients and their families when they need us the most. And while the nurses are striking, the hospital will continue caring for patients, bringing in licensed nurses who held down hospitals in the Twin Cities during that strike last year. Well, all these plans are in place so that we transition on Monday uh, without a, a bump in the road so that we're fully ready to go. Ready to go until a compromise can be reached. With photojournalist Jeff Renoy, I'm Tracy Tolentino, KQDS Fox 21. The strike is set to last until Thursday morning at 7 a.m. As of right now, the two sides have no plans to meet again before Monday. It's the end this is the KBJR 6 and Range 11 News at 5. Hibbing nurses are, strike, uh, are on strike and they're picketing the street corners near the entrances of Fairview University Medical Center, Misabi. Representatives of the Minnesota Nurses Association have been negotiating with hospital administrators for nearly one year to reach a contract agreement. The main sticking points include staffing levels, patient safety, and a proposed time off or PTO plan. Many nurses say the current staffing levels bring along enough responsibility to maintain patient safety. They worry accepting the PTO proposal would affect the hospital's ability to hire and keep nurses on staff. 
Well, we are just concerned that if we give up any of our benefits at all, that we'll continue to see a high turnover. We want to have a contract that's going to bring nurses in and keep them here. The MNA nurses are the only employee group at the facility that have not converted to this PTO plan. The Duluth Transit Authority... But first, they're off the job. Hibbing nurses begin their strike. Live from the KQDS Television Studios, this is Fox 21 News at 9. It's business as usual inside Fairview Medical, Fairview University Medical Center as replacement nurses are brought in to work for those on strike. Outside the hospital, those striking nurses are protesting an unsettled contract. We are the union. We are the union. I don't know that any of us really wanted to strike, but we're, we were willing to for our patients. To What's this about? Patient care. Safe patient to nurse ratios. Just one reason nurses at Fairview University Medical Center hit the picket lines today. Ultimately, um, we're just trying to do the best we can for the patients and provide for their safety while they're here. The nurses do their best to keep the patients safe. We, we run down halls. We, we do everything we can to help. Paid time off, another reason. Not all PTO plans are bad. This particular one, we don't think is good. We feel it is a takeaway. Um, they would still give us some sick time and vacation, but it's so restricted. These two sticking points have kept nurses in negotiations with the hospital for the past 10 months with little progress. All through it, you, you, you hope for the best, try to get this thing settled. You put your best foot forward, you, your best offer forward, and, and hope that you, you resolve it. The strike is set to last until Thursday, but nurses say they're willing to leave the sidewalks to head back to the negotiations table. The mediator or the hospital themselves could call us back to the table and hopefully we could get this settled. However, the hospital isn't budging until they get word from the mediator. We had a, a great offer on the table uh, and they rejected it and chose a strike so that offer is now off the table. But both sides are hopeful a resolution can be reached. Hopefully we can come to a better agreement where both sides can say okay yeah we can agree to this. With photojournalist Christian Thaldson, I'm Tracy Tolentino, KQDS Fox 21. The nurses are set to return to work Thursday morning, 7 o'clock. A woman is in custody. Live from the WDIO broadcast studios, this is Eyewitness News at 10 on WDIO WIRT. And nurses in Hibbing walked the picket line today during the first day of their strike. Nurses in Hibbing have wrapped up the first day of their three-day strike. And when it began at 7 a.m. today, the final offer from the hospital expired. We are the nurses! We are the nurses! They've traded in their scrubs for red t-shirts and stethoscopes for signs. Nurses who work for Fairview Hospital in Hibbing are picketing for patients. Three days isn't... It's more to get our point across that we do want safer staffing on the floors that we do want to be working with that. April Klander from the union says they are close to reaching an agreement on staffing language, but another sticking point is paid time off, which is the combo of sick and vacation time. And they're concerned over being able to actually have a vacation time if they have a bad year being sick, where vacation time through research has shown people who do take vacation are much more effective at their jobs on the floor. Now on the floor, about 40 replacement workers from around the country. Hospital leaders say the transition went smoothly. We understand that they have the right to do this and we respect that right. You know, it is the law. They have the, the lawful right to strike. We respect that. We don't believe in the reason that they're doing it is the just reason. According to Mitch Vincent, their final offer has been pulled from the table and now they'll revert back to an offer they had in February. The two sides have been negotiating since September. That we had a fair offer on the table it was above what the state averages were in wages. Uh, it did have the PTO plan, which uh, doesn't reduce their benefit time, but asks them to be more uh, cognizant of how they manage their incidental absences. That's how PTO works. At this point, no talks have been scheduled. Federal mediators will be involved the next time. The replacement nurses had about five hours of training yesterday to get them ready to fill in. 20 coal cars on a Burlington...